marine resources are economically very significant. Discuss citing suitable examples. Now, coming on to this topic, all in all, this is one of the significant topics, and it has been asked because of a certain reason. There have been certain reasons associated with it, and you can understand and analyze it. The first part is uh, it was in news uh, or it is in news largely because uh, United Nations Convention on Law of Sea is convening a meeting, Ocean Treaty, in 2021. Now that goes on to give enough amount of a scope for this topic to be asked in the form of a question. The scope is uh, that is uh, it have to be you have to be very careful in these wordings. Uh, it looks like a uh, simple, innocuous. It's not. Of course, the approach in this case is going to be factual because it is going to be talking about there are two components of it. Marine resources are economically very significant. So what are the resources and what is the significant? Another is discuss. It's not about explanation. It's not about analysis that we have to talk about that the topic has to be very, very interwoven. That's why it is going to be factual, compact and of course it requires information in this case. The basic problem that these students are going to be facing in this type of topic is uh, how is it that they can go to structure this topic here? Yeah? And that is where the challenge lies. Now, moving on to the basic structure of it, how is it that one can go on to explain it? Yeah? The first part has to be why is it that they are significant? Yeah? Now, with respect to marine resources, the most significant aspect that is always going to be talked about is. Yeah, Marine resources are the last frontier for mankind. If anyone happens to go on Mars, eh, then eh, the first question that is going to be posed to them is that, have you explored marine resources? If anyone tries to explore outer space, eh, the first question that is going to be asked is, eh, is it that you have explored eh, the Earth's resources? And if someone is going outside, eh, again, the most important question that is going to be posed is, eh, is it that have explored the entire resources of planet Earth? So that is why they are significant. They are, is it that they are cheap? That's the other question. Or exceptional for some reasons. The answer is that they are not cheap. But then cheapness, whether it is going to be cheaply available or not, it is a function of a technology. It is a function of a how easily one can go on to mine these type of topics. It is a function of a uh, how easily available and how well you are going to be known. And is it that it is exceptional? Of course it is exceptional eh? and that is going to be for many reasons. Eh? For example, if you can go to pick up certain things like a squid, for example, some of those type of plants that are going to be found in the marine areas, eh? they are exceptional because they are going to provide you with such type of medicinal qualities eh? that eh, you can't go on to be having it. Eh? Some of these plants will go on to grow armored, eh? Organs, eh? that means made of eh, iron. Eh? Now, that is significant because if human beings can go on to imbibe those things and they can go on to grow certain type of an armory, it will be super significant. Eh? And potential is eh, that is eh, of the marine resources, eh, how is it and to what extent is it that they can go on to solve the problem of mankind? Eh? Taking it eh, further, the resources that are going to be classified as freshwater resources mineral resources, eh? you have energy resources, food resources and eh? marine biotic resources. Eh? Fresh water is eh? of course 97.2% eh? of eh? world's eh? water resources are going to be fresh water and in this category. This is going to be one significant aspect. Eh? If you can go to desalinize that eh? and there are going to be good number of desalination plants in different places. Eh? Fresh water can be obtained either with by desalinization and, and desalination technique can go to be flash distillation, reverse osmosis eh, and electrodialysis. These are the three methods that will go on to help you to obtain that part. So drinking water is going to be obtained from the salty and salt is going to be left behind that going to make it another resource. Eh. Fresh water itself can go on to be a minefield of resources and that goes on to combine chlorine, sodium, magnesium, sulfur, calcium and what not. Can you imagine a good amount of gold is going to be found dissolved in these uh, waters as a uh, well. So, dissolved in sea water is going to be one of them. Other is uh, the surface uh, deposits uh, which are going to be found on the continental shelf. 
comprising of a zircon monazite that is going to be found in uh, the most important monazite deposits is the, the thorium deposits that you're going to find in uh, Kerala of, of Kolgan coast. Uh, Rutile is going to be there and otherwise there is going to be a good amount of encrustation of uh, magnetite, cassiodotrite, uh, gold, placer diamonds. Uh, gold and diamond placer. Placer deposits are going to be found in the form of a beach farm and they are going to be found in Namibia. That's the most important one of them. And other than that, you have coral sands, which can going to be used for the purpose of manufacturing of a certain type of building materials in this case, phosphorite and sulfur. And the most important recent discovery in this case has been that of the shelf and the slope deposits, which going to have a reasonable amount of coal as well. And of course, not to talk about it, Covert and crusted geodes, which are going to be found on the ocean basin. But talking about it, you're going to be having a deep sea deposits, and these deep sea deposits are going to be comprising of metalliferous deposits, sulfides of iron, zinc, copper, and molybdenum, chromium. They are the one that are going to be found in the form of polymetallic nodules, and mostly they are going to be found around the ocean ridges. That is why they are economically significant. Subsurface deposits that means beneath the surface you have two of them sulfur and a coal and of course it is it can go to be oil as well and with respect to that you will go to find Mumbai Mumbai high not Mumbai high Bombay high is going to be one you're going to find it off the coast of Texas there eh? off the coast of Mexico and there eh? everywhere in the world most of them whether it is going to be Angola whether it is going to be Nigeria and also in Gulf of Guyana you have these type of deposits here. and uh, in deep sea you go on to be having a what we going to call as a covert encrusted geoth geoth which is going to be having a good amount of a surface deposit uh, an encrusted surface of a cobalt which is again going to be significant in this case energy resources will going to comprise of a tidal energy tidal energy is a uh, going to be important the first tidal power plant happens to be in rams in the in France eh? and then we have our tidal power plants in India as well one of them is going to be in Kandla and they have a potential to solve the coastal uh, the problems of the coastal electricity and provide electricity to the coastal plants. Eh? Wave energy is uh, going to be using uh, what we are going to be calling as a saltus device. Eh? We have uh, a technology which can go on to help us to use this wave energy and with the help of which we can actually go to convert it. Eh? In India, it is going to be Jam. that's a village in uh, Kerala, where uh, uh, initially, some time back, they, it was Chinese who were responsible for uh, having a uh, JV with uh, India for the purpose of exploration of uh, wave deposits. Uh, current energy is uh, going to be developed uh, off the coast of North America, particularly Gulf Stream that is going to be manned for this purpose. Salinity gradient and OTEC. OTEC is Ocean Thermal Energy Conversion. Uh, and that is going to be used for the purpose of generation of electricity and that is again off the coast of India and that is in Kavarati. Other than that, we do going to be having biomass energy as well, of course, which is a form of energy. Other than that, the other deposits are going to be associated with food resources. The whole of the ocean is going to be rich in terms of amino acids very good source of vitamin B12. They are going to be low in cholesterol and saturated fats as well. And of course, they are going to be very, very high in polysaturated fats and essential fatty acids, which are, which go on to make them actually unique of salts in this case. It is this uniqueness that is going to be significant for them. Now, coming on to the food resources of it, you're going to find these food resources going to be in the form of fishes. Now, most of these fishes are going to be in uh, temperate regions largely because tropical regions uh, have a mixed variety of uh, fishes. Uh, while temperate areas are uh, going to have shoals uh, which are going to be homogeneous and uniform all in all. Seaweeds, uh, a good number of seaweeds are uh, going to be very, very high source of protein in this case. Uh, of course, uh, uh, these are going to be found again in tropical waters, mostly in tropical waters. Uh, Planktons uh, are going to be food for the fishes and uh, of course uh, they are not going to be so significant for human beings uh, but then indirectly they are uh, squids, they can go on to be large squids are going to be enormous uh, sources for protein and uh, they are going to be having some medicinal properties as well. 
krill is going to be very resource of protein mitophytes and benthosis or says they going to be again having some medicinal properties in this case the other is going to be marine biotic resources the most important of the biotic resource are going to be corals it is corals that go on to make a great barrier reef or region of a natural wonder and the biotic resources they go to show biodiversity and there is no place on the earth that has so much amount of biodiversity as the one that is going to be found off the australian coast second of these say that some of these exceptional biodiversity resources go on to include multi layered iron sulfide armor of a crystal melon squani ferum now this means this are some of these type of creatures say they have been discovered just 10 years back yeah? and they can go on to grow iron now these are the creatures say, which are going to be on the as a sign user of all of those i is of the chinese essentially it is the chinese who are now exploring the entire of the seaboard from a completely different angle and essentially for the purpose of exploring them and exploiting them as well then of course this will a topic that will not going to require any type of a conclusion not that you can go to say thus we see that ocean resources are going to be rich in that this is largely because every the whole of this answer itself goes on to be a conclusion in this case here not that you have to write it uh, that it is indeed very very significant for the mankind and so on to have more such discussions and analysis subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for notifications on our upcoming videos